Hello Reese, welcome to Beauty View Tarot and this is your reading for the second half of June. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Aries. Seven of Swords. Knave of Swords. Ace of Wands. Three of Swords. Ten of Cups. Okay, Aries. It seems like that you have lost something that you felt like is meant for you with this Ace of Wands. I see that you considered this uh, person as something um, that was a blessing of universe. As if this person was a perfect one, the compatible one and uh, they understood you better than anyone else. And it's like they were really close to your heart. If you see this girl, she is just hugging this chameleon. And um, it's the same situation with you. You are hugging someone who can change the colors. Okay. And uh, I see that you don't know um, the true nature of this person. Okay. This person can change their mood at once. And uh, they can show you a totally different side of their personality. All of a sudden and you would be like okay I didn't expect from you it's like this person showers all the love on you and in the very next moment they are complaining they are blaming you for something but I see that you are still addicted to this person no matter who they are you want to stick to them you want them close to your heart and that's because you consider them as a blessing of the universe even if it is something that is toxic, that changes its color, okay? So maybe this situation is already over. This person has hurt you really bad this time. And with the Three of Swords, looks like that you already know that everything is over and things might not be the same in the future. I mean, you have lost the hope of reunion with this person and for you it's over. But then I see that this person is watching you from somewhere. With the Seven of Swords, this person is con continuously watching you. They're constantly thinking about you. It's like first they broke your heart. First they did this irreparable damage to you. And now they are looking at you. They are watching you and thinking like where is Aries heading to? What Aries is doing next? Isn't the Aries going to chafe me? something like this this person expected a different reaction from your side they knew that they are going to break you down with their actions but they didn't expect that you won't chase even if you are hurt even if you are completely broken even if you are feeling completely alone you are dealing with it on your own or maybe you are speaking up with the mm, people that you love most that you uh, you trust and uh, this person didn't expect this this person thought that if they give you the three of swords Aries will, Aries will come back running and Aries will beg and you will do anything to get their attention but this didn't happen now this knave of swords is again looking for some new topic to create a drama in your life they are again looking for a reason to pop up in your life and uh, they are constantly searching for a reason for an excuse you know to appear in your life once again and then here you have ten of cups now you're free and it's up to you what you make out of this freedom 
it's like uh, you have everything that you are looking for. You may not realize but this person was bringing toxicity in your life and you needed a break from them at least even if you are not choosing to walk away even if you have this intention of uh, giving them another chance if they come back still you needed this break this person was being toxic to you they were taking all your space and time they were uh, draining your energy they made you helpless they made you insecure about yourself so it's a time when the universe has given you all this. Think about the other things in your life. You have everything that you are looking for. It's time to focus on other things. Because with the Ten of Cups, you have the blessings of the universe. And these are blessings in disguise. Okay, maybe you are feeling like what I'm saying that uh, this has happened to you. And I'm saying that it has happened for good. But later it will emerge out that this has happened for a reason. And you are meant for something better. Okay, just um, take the right with the universe and uh, let the energy flow. Let it take wherever it wants to take you. Okay, here we have a lot of swords, so it could be an air sign. However, that's not, that's not so necessary because this is a general reading. And the energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages. Queen of Swords, sorry, Queen of Wands. Judgment. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Two of Cups. You are Queen of Wands, Aries. You are the perfect one. I mean, for this person, you are perfection. You have everything that they are looking for. You are physically charming. You are confident. You know what you want out of your life. And uh, you are doing better than them in your life. And maybe that is what is making them feel inferior to you. Okay, maybe this person has this fear that you will um leave them in the future because you're way better than them you will find someone else and you will uh, move on it's like they want to make sure that you feel bad about yourself or at least you feel insecure about yourself because here we have the card of the judgment this person might be judging you this person may judge you for something um for something that you're not responsible for um, I mean this person can tell you that I am behaving in this way because you are in this way. You are not good enough for me. You haven't done enough for this relationship. I expect more from you. Blames and blames and blames and judgments. But it has got nothing to do with you. This person is quite insecure. They know that you can have anyone. And uh, that is why this person is trying to vent out their frustration. Okay, they're frustrated because they feel like they don't match you and in fact they're nowhere closer to your personality or um, to whatever you have to whatever you are and then here you have ten of pentacles for this ten of pentacles Aries celebrate the life as it is okay it's your time to rise it's your time to realize that you are the center of attraction in the second half of June, you will experience a lot of love from others. People from opposite sex will be attracted towards you. And uh, everyone wants to know more about you. They want to know who you are, what you like. Everyone wants to get your attention. And then here you have Ten of Wands. 
with a stand of wands, it feels like that in the end, when you are alone, you will feel burdened. Maybe you feel like no one understands you, no one knows who is beneath the Ten of Pentacles, who is beneath the surface, and you feel disconnected from everyone. You have this heavy heart. But then with, but then with this Two of Cups, it's about finding yourself once again. It's about self-love. It's about hugging yourself once again, restoring your belief in yourself, and knowing that you are complete with them or without them. Okay, let's check an oracle message for you. Excuse me. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So it goes well with the reading. It's about rewriting the future. Find yourself, Aries. Break the chain that is keeping you attached to the past. And it's time to heal. Allow yourself to heal. Uh, disconnect from the drama. And rewrite your future. Think about your future. This has happened for a reason. Always know that. So this was the reading for the second half of June. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.